What's up, everybody? You look at the camera. Vinny, Vinny, and Angie here from The Dumb Place. Today we're talking about anxiety. Anxiety sucks. You know, as a kid, I used to worry a lot, and my mother would always say, you know, what good is that going to do? Uh, you know, it's not going to do any good, because if any of this worrying would have solved it, it probably would have done so by now, but... Uh, Typical Italian mother, don't worry, I'll worry. Right, <laughs> like I do, right? Like... I, you know, I think of the hypocrisy there. Am I using that word correctly? Like, yeah. That's yeah. It's like hypocritical, good. you know, like don't worry. I mean, you know, maybe she was saying, you know, I'll do all the worrying for both of us because <laughs> she did an awful lot of worrying, yeah, you know. That's, that's an Italian mother thing. But that's the thing. Is like, you know, my mother cared about me, but she didn't want me to worry. But, you know, she couldn't help me out with, like, what, what, then what do I do? You know, like this thing just seems to want to do this. And I didn't, I didn't ask for it. Thanks, Vinny. Your hand's really clean now. Really good. <laughs> Tell and, you not uh, to worry. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about your hand. It's clean now. And, uh, but she couldn't help me out, you know? Like, what do you do with this mind that worries all the time? Yeah, first you got to kind of get to the reasons for why, right? Why does the mind What's it doing? Go? What's it doing? And yeah. the first thing is tolerance of basic human emotion. Yeah, like... Life's going to be have some pains in it, you know? Lots of pain. Like and you got to be able to handle that. But, you you know, part of that anxiety pattern is, like, I'm not going to be able to handle this. Like No uh, confidence. There's going to be negative emotions, and I don't I don't know what to do with them real well. And so i got to avoid them at all costs, right? Yeah. I'm going to die. I'm, like, gonna, I'm basically going to die. Yeah. I mean, when you play that what-if game, and that's the other component of it, right? Another component of it is, like, the mind just refuses to stay here. It's, it's playing these what-if games and worrying about the future. And or, or worrying about something from the past that's going to have, you know, implications. Another big word there. And maybe I'm not even using that right. You okay today? For the future. Yeah, it's, I don't know what's going on today. But, uh, yeah, and then it's, you know, and the other component is it's going to be awful, right? It's right. going to be terrible. So you have a, 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 some kind of thought, what if thought, and it loops and loops and Looping. loops. And Looping then you go, there. oh, I'm not good enough to, like, handle this. There's no way I can handle this. I'm not strong enough. And then it's like, oh, my God, I'm just probably going to die is what's going to happen. It's just going to be terrible. Yeah. And then once you practice that enough, then that just kind of sets the mind up for how it sees reality, right? Like It becomes everything. a thing. It like becomes a thing. A thing on its own, right? And then the body gets going, and then the body starts producing thoughts. That happens, too. That's yeah. weird, too. But uh, that's what's going on, yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Joe, Joanna, and the actual Vinny here. Obviously, we play these characters on The Dumb Place. If you haven't seen those videos on YouTube, go check them out. And that's where we kind of bring some levity and some lightness to what are obviously very heavy topics. And we don't mean to make light of your situation. We know how difficult this is and how much you might feel like you're suffering. But we want you to know that there are options. Yeah, so whether a more cognitive-based approach is your style or you've thought about meditation, um, trauma therapy, such as brain spotting, or even animal-assisted therapy. Uh, we do have two dogs involved in animal-assisted therapy, and it's really just a wide base of options for healing and um, working that into what fits best in your life. And maybe you don't need those um, types of work, but there's other things. Maybe you're looking for something more. Maybe you're looking for a growth path that you feel good about. You're feeling like you're stagnating in life um, or things haven't turned out exactly the way that you thought they would have. Let's talk about that. There's lots of different options. We do therapy here in our office in Louisville. We also do telehealth uh, Colorado wide. There's lots of different options and we look forward to talking with you and discussing what that looks like for you and what role we can play in your journey. We look forward to hearing from you.